Okay, y'all. I googled it, and it said, yes, you don't want to bake something <clears throat> like lasagna in a metal pan. And um, I think most of us knew that. And so my idea about parchment, whoop, parchment paper, right on. So, and what you do is you line your pan really good uh, and overlap it with parchment paper. But first, you spray it a little bit with some um, cooking spray. And I'm going to use olive oil. I don't want to use anything that's got that. I don't want to use my baking stuff. And then you form it inside the pan. And that spray will help keep it down while you're, you know, assembling your lasagna. So, <clears throat> that leads me to this. What am I going to do with that cake? I don't have a square thing to put it on. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to have to sacrifice a little bit of that cake, but I'm going to put it in a container and save it. Uh, <clears throat> allergies, y'all. So this is what I have come up with, and I don't know if I'm going to be successful, but I certainly hope so, or Jerry will be getting spice cake crumbles, which is not unusual in this kitchen. Okay, this is what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, I took my little bite out of it. I had to see if it was okay. So I'm going to cut that really evenly. And um, this, these spatulas, they are so good for doing that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the corners off. I'm just going to trim the corners off and make them rounded and I'm going to stack them on top of each other. Not until I'm ready to ice them though. And then they will fit on my beautiful plate with the cover. <laughs> I do not know where this brain cell gets these ideas. I truly do not. You would think I would have invented something when I was young and that I would be rolling in dough. But oh no. Uh-uh. Nope. But that's what I'm going to do, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to let y'all watch me do this because it could be a big disaster. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to get my wonderful little Pyrex dish out here. Now, sometime in the future, uh, I will acquire a glass pan. But, you know what? You just do what you need to do, and you can figure it out. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do is I want to cut that edge off. You know what? Let me get out my thingy here. Now, this is um, supposedly 12 inches, my uh, cake plate. Okay, that's going to work really good. You have to take off some of that 12 inches because you've got to have room for your cake cover to go on top of it. And you don't want it to be glopping on all your icing or frosting. <clears throat> so, I'm going to have to put, I can't put both pieces of the cake on my thing right now. But one piece I can. Hold on, i got to get some tin foil. Miss Hazel's out there enjoying the sunshine. And I'm just, y'all know I like to put that around my cake plate so that when I ice it, um, I can just 
take these pieces of tin foil off and then I've got a nice clean plate with no crumbs and no residual icing. <laughs> the other day when Terry was here, I cut, I was cutting some of that, um, not cling wrap, but you know that stuff that I like that you, um, it clings to your dishes. So, um, I'm just going to put this on here and I scrunch it down around the edges to kind of keep it in place. And, um, there we go. There we have it. There's my tin foil. So I'll put my cake right. Oh, are you sad, camera? I tell you, you gotta just watch everything all the time. Okay, so here's my um, cake plate. And um, let's try to get on with this uh, cake business here. That looks about right. That was about right. Now, I'm gonna cut this up. This cake is nice and moist, you guys. There we go. Okay, and you know, cakes, for some reason, um, they're always kind of better like the second day or after they've set for a little bit. I don't know, the moisture kind of is better. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is not gonna be perfectly square because Deborah Joy and her bite she had to have. Now I'm just moving this easy along so I'm not scratching my pan, but my pan, it is scratched. There's no doubt about that. I should probably try to do my corners while they're in the pan. Y'all, if this is a big sale, I take all the credit for it. Now, this is going to be a really weird shaped cake. But you know what? Women might make fun of it. But men, they won't even notice. Although, I don't know about Jerry. He notices everything. Okay, this little piece said, Oh, please taste me. Okay, now then, I'm going to put the lid on that to keep it fresh. And the thing is, if these don't work out perfect on top of each other, they can be trimmed. It's not the end of the world. Nothing is the end of the world except the end of the world. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Now, this piece is a little bigger. But y'all know what? Oh! Don't try to get out of there. Okay. Now, these two little square pieces right here, they wouldn't fit. Now, I've got to get some different wrap. This is what I... Okay. This is what I was trying to cut the other day. And I just wasn't using any finesse. And I just tore the thing up. Okay, I've showed this to y'all before. But I'm telling you, I love this stuff. It seals. It just seals. You just mash it down, and it seals everything up and keeps it very fresh. So, my two pieces of cake. Now, y'all, that kind of looks like a coffin to me. So, if I can maintain this idea until next Halloween, maybe I could make a little coffin cake 
that would be a lot of fun to decorate right there. Okay, so that was my idea. And um, we'll see how that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is, besides eating crumbs, I haven't had breakfast yet. Got to cook a couple eggs. And I'm going to move these out of the way. And um, now I'm going to get my tomato sauce all put together and put it on the stove to simmer. And then I'll make my icing. Y'all, this is going to be in several videos because this is a long, drawn-out thing, okay? So, do something fun today, and I'll be back in a bit. 